Hi, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to share a little bit of my wisdom for sublimation success. This video is basically talking about banding and how we can help you resolve banding issues. What is banding? Well, banding is marks or lines that are going through your print on a regular basis down the page, or in some cases, they're vertical banding. And the common approach to solving banding is to sit there and waste ink doing cleanings when that may or may not be related to the issue. So I want to give you a checklist to go through quickly to help you resolve banding, but ultimately our tech support here at Condi um, can, can really take these things we're going to cover and walk through each one of them to figure out what the real cause is. First is, here's an example of banding. And so there are two kinds of banding in general, vertical and horizontal. Now as the page comes out of the printer, uh, generally speaking it comes out like this. And so if the bands are going across the page, we're going to call that horizontal. If the bands are going vertical, that's, that's of course vertical. So let's first talk about horizontal banding. Horizontal banding is caused by the following things in, in the most common order. Number one is your nozzle check is complete. And so if you're not doing a nozzle check on a semi-regular basis, probably a good thing to do. So it's very easy to do a nozzle check. You can put plain paper in your printer and you simply push the menu key on the printer, push the down arrow key until the display reads maintenance, and then push the enter key three times and it will print a nozzle check pattern. Look at that and see if it looks complete. If it's not complete, then I would date the nozzle check, put a date and time on there so you know when you print it, circle the areas of concern, and then we can either assist you or you can sort of do it on your own of going into the cleaning menus and using the cleaning functions of the printer to make the nozzle check complete. But these printers are in general highly reliable and don't often have nozzle check issues. And when they do, we certainly want to talk with you and figure out what may be the root cause. So if the nozzle check is complete, the second step would be to go through the alignments of the printers to verify that everything is good. Over time, the alignments can get off, again, somewhat rare, and I have videos on Condi TV that will walk you through um, verifying the alignments are in good shape. Um, the third step in verifying, in solving a, a banding issue, is to verify your print settings are correct. Sometimes your print settings are, um, are removed by a Windows upgrade, things like that, and you're printing with what I would call plain paper settings, and that means that the paper is going through the printer too fast. And so ultimately, uh, we may need to restore your print settings and get you printing correctly. Um, the next is, it is possible for the computer to simply be sending data too slowly to the printer. Sometimes the computer is busy doing other things, like downloading updates, installing updates, or it simply needs a reboot, or it's run out of hard drive space, you name it. And if the computer will not send data fast enough to the printer, the printer will stutter. And it, sometimes it's very obvious, if you hear the printer stopping, um, that is not a printer issue. That's going to be something that's happening at the computer. Also, never use what I refer to as an external USB hub. Uh, just make sure that there's a cable going directly from the computer to the printer um, so that there's nothing in between like an external USB hub. And then finally, there are some parts in your printer as the printer ages that likely need cleaning. And I have great videos to show you how to do that, but here are a few of the things that um, would, be, would need, need to be cleaned in order to correct banding. Um, the first is your printer has what's called an encoder wheel. I have a video to show you how to clean that. 
Um, you have to remove the panel on the, the side of the printer, but this wheel can get uh, dust on it, um, and if it gets dust, the printer sort of doesn't understand as it moves down the page uh, its actual location. So cleaning the encoder wheel um, often resolves banding when other things are fine. Um, and then finally, you've got the, the belt inside the printer and the capping station. Um, again, have videos to show you to clean those. They can get dirty, nasty, um, with excess ink on them. And so I do recommend uh, that, say, every six months you clean the belt and you also clean the capping station. The belt is used to transport the paper. And so it's electrostatically charged, so it holds the paper. And if it has ink on it, uh, things like that, it can't do as good a job and the paper begins to slip a little bit. So cleaning the belt, and we use denatured alcohol to do that, um, is often a good thing to do. Uh, next is the, the capping station. The capping station is the printer's drain. That is the unit that's used to prime the print head. And over time, just like any, any drain, um, you, can, you may need to clean it to get it back in good working order. So ultimately, uh, for manning issues, um, these are, are the tips to look at these areas of focus. Ultimately, contact us through our tech support and we'll get to the bottom of your banding issues. Well, this has been David Gross with Condi Systems. Thank you.